the current process is pulling and stretching this frame, the fabric over this frame, and then it's going to go in. It's a slow process. This is actually where the cell phone is going to sit. It's held in there and epoxy around it. This is where the battery meter will go, battery meter, phone, tablet, cup holders. I'm trying to make it as smooth as possible, but it's hard. Front plastic piece. Just JV welded it there and there it was broken. It's the piece that goes on the front up underneath there. This is the five inch extension, five inch wheel extensions. This wheel is actually missing a lug. So I'm waiting for one of them. Getting ready to put the lift on. It's gonna go right there. All right, so I've gone through and I've actually recorded, well, I've taken pictures of the whole process of actually doing this thing. It's a pain in the butt to try to record everything, but I've ultimately gone through and fiberglassed, put the, the this, this on it, and then I, I actually went through and fiberglass the whole thing so I laid it over top laid this sheet over top and then I went through and bonded it to make it a little bit smoother this is actually where everything's gonna that's where the phone's gonna hold and battery monitors so it's actually been pretty fun to go through and get it to the point where it's almost ready to paint. Not paint, I'm actually going to do a layer of Bondo and resin mixed together. So I'll actually show it after that's happening. Should make it really, really smooth and easier to sand. The Bondo and resin is out there. But I do have the extenders on. You can see how wide the wheels are five inches out so we'll see how it goes so I didn't actually video the steps of doing this but I mixed fiberglass and resin I screwed up right there fiberglass and resin and then just basically painted it on you can see it's kind of glossy but a lot glossier than it was I might do another coat, but they, uh, they need to sand it. It's kind of running all over, but it should be able to make it smooth now. I have a solid coat on there. So we'll see. We'll see how that turns out once I start sanding it with really high grit paper. Uh, he got it all over the place. I made a real mess. My wife's going to be happy about that. Alright, excuse the dirtiness of the garage, but I now have the electronics hooked up. These are the battery meters. There's a digital one and an analog one. And then I also finally got the LED lights hooked up. This is the front one. And the other one turns on underneath. So, if I were to turn the lights off. Yeah, buddy. This one. So from afar away, that's what it looks like. That's great. All right, so I finished putting a lift kit on. It was actually hard because most of the stuff was rusted. 
but this is the block they're putting in. And then there's an extension right here. You can't see it very well. The hook's onto the, the shock absorber. Right here. You get this five inch one right here. And that one, that block extension. I do have a problem with my steering arm though. Turning right, it doesn't reach very good. So I need to extend it. The rear was actually kind of a pain too because the bolts were all rusted. But this is the piece that went in. And then this is the new piece over top. And this piece right here. So it's actually easy to use the same U-bolts. This one broke and the other side broke. But they still spit. Well, that's basically it. I'm basically done. My LED lights underneath. And top. And I'm tired of working on it.